In this video, I'm going to teach you about the verb to be. Olla. Olla. Notice the double L sound. Olla. Olla. If I had a single L, it would sound like hola, hola, but I'm not saying hello in Spanish, so hola, hola. To start, I've got mina olen Ursula, mina olen Ursula, sinä olet sairas, sick, sinä olet sairas, hän on Maria Liisa, hän again is for either a woman or a man, it's either she or he. In this case, Maria Lisa is a woman's name. Han on Maria Lisa. She is Maria Lisa. Next we have se, which is used for animals. Se on kissani. Se on kissani. It is my cat. As a hint, we have a possessive suffix here, and I will get to that in a subsequent video. Se is also used in spoken language. I can say, se on mun äiti. Se on mun äiti. And I know I just said that quickly and I will not go into detail too much, but it just means that if I'm familiar with somebody, I can indeed say se in spoken language. When in doubt, use han, however. Next we have, me olemme ystäviä. Me olemme ystäviä. Ystäviä is a form of the word friends. We are friends. Me olemme ystäviä. Me olemme ystäviä. Te is the plural for you, and it's also the formal version of you. Te olette täällä. Te olette täällä. You are here. You all are here. Te olette täällä. Täällä has two as and it also has two l's. A tällä. When I say these two l's, just like olla, I hang on to that l sound. Olla tällä. Again, olla tällä. Don't let go. Tällä. Te olette tällä. He ovat ulkona. He ovat ulkona. They are outside. He ovat ulkona. He ovat ulkona. To review the verbs by themselves, the different forms, we've got olen, I am, olet, you are, singular, on, he, she, or it is, olemme, we are, olette, you are, either formal you or you plural, ovat. Olen, olet, on, olemme, olette, ovat. Olen, olet, on, olemme, olette, ovat.